situation ever left you feeling frustrated? Little things like stop and go traffic. <laughs> or bigger things, devastating things, kick you in the gut things like the loss of someone close to you, major surgery, financial emergencies. Then there are the urgent, in-your-face things. And if we're honest about it, things that we do to ourselves, things that get in the way of the important things, our dreams, our goals, and our families. You know it would be nice if it were like that movie City Slickers where the actor Jack Pellant says to Billy Crystal, the secret to life is this. No, not his finger. One thing. Just one thing. You stick to that and everything else don't mean shh. Well, I'll let you finish the rest. <laughs> I think there is one thing. It's not a big thing, not a be-all, end-all thing, but one thing that we can all do right now. It's one thing that can help us cope with those difficult life situations. It's one thing that is always present, always there to help us on our journey to becoming a better you and me. Whatever that is, whatever the goal is, and that thing is being present. Mindfulness, being aware of your awareness, paying attention to your attention. That sounds good, all metaphysical, doesn't it? It's also practical because being present is like shining a beacon of light on our minds, exposing, weakening, and even killing those negative thought patterns and emotions that lurk in the shadows of our mind. Being present is a common conduit for all of our goals, helping smooth out those road bumps between us and where we want to be. In short, being present is a tool that we can wield to shape our existence despite the everything else that's going on. Now, a couple years ago, I had never heard of being present, mindfulness. And it was a couple of years ago that my own life situation was ripping my family apart. It wasn't about me. I'm not going to go into details. But there were daily, incessant reminders that were creating levels of anxiety and fear in my family that led to daily yelling, bickering, fighting, hateful, hurtful, lashing out that I was not equipped to handle. I wanted out. And I almost walked out. Fortunately, I didn't. Fortunately, I sought counseling. And it was here in counseling that I was first introduced to this concept, this one thing, being present. And the more I read The Power of Now, Mindsight, Perfect Present, the more I practiced mindful meditation, the more I realized that this one thing, this was the thing, this was the answer that would help me and my family get through this difficult life situation. So I put all my energy into being present. And you know what? I still screw things up most of the time. I still lost my temper. I still got angry. Because in the heat of the moment, when someone or something pushed my buttons, those knee-jerk reactions took over. Because old habits die hard. So I thought about it. And I thought, and I thought, and I thought, and I meditated, and I realized what I needed was some sort of trigger, something that would preempt, something to override those knee-jerk reactions until I developed better habits. And it took some time, but I found that trigger. And that's the second thing that I want to share with you. So this is what I'm going to ask everyone to do. Sit up straight. I want you to take a deep breath. Fill your lungs to capacity. <laughs> Hold it for a count of five. One, two, three, four, 
five, let it out, one big whoosh. And don't forget to breathe back in. <laughs> now, how does that feel? Feel good? A little lightheaded? Okay, be careful. I don't want anyone to hyperventilate and pass out here. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, teaches us that our moods, our behaviors, our thoughts, our physiology, biochemical reactions, they're all linked. A change in one will start a chain reaction in all the others, good or bad. And we are just taking advantage of that linkage because breathing is easy. We all do it all the time, right? And when we breathe deeply like that, we infuse oxygen into our bloodstream, a physiological reaction which has scientifically been shown to generate a relaxation response. And when we are physically relaxed, mental relaxation follows, making it easier to be present. Which I think is pretty cool. Now, the author Stephen Covey, the leadership management guru and author, has often said that part of leadership is giving back, sharing from your knowledge and your experiences. And that's what I'm doing today, sharing with you the one thing. And it has been an honor and a privilege. Namaste.